What are we going to do speak English? Yes, a little bit corrupted. <laughs> Retired non-commissioned officer Yevhen Ryabokon found out on the British Council's website that they were offering English courses for ex-service members. He signed up immediately, took a proficiency test, and began classes. Uh, they told me that I could come. Yevhen told us that after two and a half years on the front line, his civilian profession had lost its relevance. Now he studies programming and dreams of becoming an assistant to Elon Musk. I want to work in an international company. A programmer with no English? I don't know what to compare this to. Welcome to Mill Hill School, a school that seeks to equip people for life, both now and in the future. Yevhen's been a long-time learner. Earlier in his career, the serviceman completed a four-month-long officer training course. Then there was his service on the front lines, where knowledge of English was not necessary. Now I have the opportunity that I've waited two years for. The courses are going to begin. This is very good because you can talk to almost the whole world in English, and without knowing the language, it's really hard to find oneself as an ex-serviceman in civilian life. Anna Bielova will teach English to the retired service members. This will be her fourth time teaching people with military backgrounds. It's nice to work with them because they're very good people. They're different, with different backgrounds. And this is especially interesting because most of our lesson time is dedicated to communication. We develop spoken language. This year, 16 ex-military personnel will go through the four-month course in the Kiev office of the British Council. The schedule is pretty intense. Five hours a day, five days a week. The NATO Trust Fund gives ex-military the chance to feel important in this life and to realize themselves after their service has ended. The retraining program for former military personnel has existed in Ukraine since 1999. During this time, about 10,000 officers in the military and law enforcement agencies have completed English language courses throughout Ukraine. This year, roughly 800 ex-service members all over Ukraine are planning to study English. The Ukrainian Paralympians are already back in Kiev from South Korea, celebrating their heroically won 22 medals. A crowd of cheering fans met them at the airport. Family, friends and politicians, including the Prime Minister and the Minister of Sports. UATV brings you more.